haven't moved. I'm on the couch talking about a way many people choose to relax and unwind, and that's gardening. And while not always a couch activity, our friend Heather O'Brien has graciously decided to join me on the couch to talk about caring for our plant friends. Welcome. Oh, well, I'm really excited to be comfy here. You know what? Should we do this every day? Yes. Just hang out on mm -hmm. the couch. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing, you know, we're not out in our garden, but you really do need to kind of plan out your landscaping and you can do that while you're sitting on the couch. Do you recommend that people like plan out their stuff before they, they actually get out there in the garden? I, I, yes, we do drawings for our vegetable gardens and our landscapes all the time. And, and you really should because you got to kind of figure out where everything's going to go and if they're going to have enough space to grow. Yeah, right? well, and you want to, you always want to keep in mind the adult size of a plant. So if you draw it out and you know to scale what what the area is, mm -hmm. then you know, oh, I have four extra feet here. Maybe I can plant this giant hosta that gets four feet wide. Yeah, and we yeah. want to talk about hostas coming up. Yes. But I have a question for you. It's been a hot May so far. We're only halfway through. Should we be taking extra, extra steps with our plants and flowers? right now because it's been so hot? Yeah, so you want to uh, water almost every day, especially if you still have a spring garden going on, like a veggie garden. Okay. Because those plants prefer cooler weather, and so they're going to dry out a lot quicker, and they're going to suffer because of it. It's always important to water in the morning if you can. Okay. Um, because of how plants photosynthesize, they're always taking up water in the morning and using it in photosynthesis, where in the evening they're taking a break and switching to a different part of photosynthesis and they don't need water. Oh. Um, but if I can't, if you can't, do it whenever. Okay. Yes. All right. And, and when it's this hot with your hanging baskets or anything like that, you need you might need a water in the morning and the evening both okay yeah. and I've always heard and I don't know if this is true that if it's sunny out don't water when the sun's shining on your plants wait until they they're least shade covered is yeah. that true well I think it's more heat so don't water during the midday okay because if it's 90 plus degrees out yeah that water's just gonna heat up mm -hmm. and so not put, gonna really do much it, it, it's gonna cook your roots okay let's so. talk about the hostas yeah. for a minute because you brought some mm -hmm. leaves and they're huge yeah um they do get big do they, but they need shade right right so they're really versatile shade plants okay um i have found especially they're one of the few that like to grow under trees okay um whereas there are a lot that uh deal with the tree taking up too much water mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. and we've been working on a shade garden under our, one of our trees for a long time and we found hostas are the only things that really will do work well. yeah and yeah. they fill up a lot of space like you said they do there are some that are tiny like i have one called mouse ears and it only gets very small oh. but um my one that's called some and substance i mean some of the leaves are like a foot wide and they're just huge. really yeah okay what about deer and other pests with so hostas? What I like about hostas is they don't have a lot of disease. You can kind of see some yellowing going on on this guy. Yeah. Uh, this is because uh, the sun has gotten to it too much, really. But there's not a lot of disease that goes on with hostas, so mm -hmm. they're pretty easy. But there's two specific pests that like to eat them. First off, hostas are deer candy. Yes. <laughs> um, deer love them. But there are products out there that can help you defend them. And there's one in particular I like that comes in a little tablet form and you put it in the root zone okay. of your whatever plant, you know, if, if the deer like your daylilies and you just have to have daylilies, put, put it into the, put the it into the root, soil. Yeah, in put the it root. into the root zone in the spring and it's systemic. It'll make the plant taste bitter. All right, so yes. if we want more information, we can go to your website, thatgardengirl.com. Yeah.